Hello and welcome to Clairview Television. We are reading you live from Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. Listen to this truth. We are growing by the day and our viewership keeps growing on our different platforms. We are inviting you to advertise your goods and services with us at incredibly low rates. And do you have news for us? Script or video, please contact us through our email address, clairviewnewsroom at gmail.com or WhatsApp line 080-650-30300. Again, 080-650-30300. Welcome on board. I am Nkiru Omuli. A 13-year-old student of the Federal College uh, Government College Kwali in the Kuje Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Hagia Aliu, has died after being allegedly flogged by his teacher. It was gathered that the teacher, identified as Mrs. Gibson, allegedly beat the boy who was a junior secondary school two student for failing to do his assignment. A source who pleaded anonymity said Ali was unable to complete his assignment because he was not healthy and had visited the school clinic for treatment. The source disclosed that his teacher hit him in the head while trying to punish him for not finishing his assignment. When contacted, the FCT Police Command spokesperson, ASP Mariam Yusuf, confirmed the incident and said that the police was investigating the matter. Meanwhile, the national president of the Federal Government College Quali Old Students Association, engineer Musa Ibrahim, who confirmed the incident this Tuesday, said meetings and consultations are being held to unravel the facts on what caused the death of the students. Officials have recovered the decomposing body of the youth leader of the All Progressives Congress in Ebony State. Ogotuku Alem from a mining pit in the state. The remains of two policemen traveling with the late Alem were also retrieved from the scene two days after a vehicle conveying the victims plunged into the pit. They were pulled out by rescue officials and local divers supported with a crane provided by the Ebony State Ministry of Infrastructure during an ex exercise supervised by Governor Dave Umahi. While addressing reporters at the scene where the bodies were recovered, the Governor Umahi mourned the victims and condemned the activities of miners. He decried the indiscriminate digging of mining pits, which he said was endangering the lives of the people and causing destruction to the environment. It's very unfortunate and we've been fighting this issue of digging pits, harvesting lead, zinc, and uh, chippings without closing it back. We've been fighting with miners in Ebony State over this issue. And so the chief of staff is here, who doubles also as commissioner for solid mineral. We're going to identify all the pits in Ebony State, whether it was dug for lead, for zinc, for chippings, for any other mineral in Ebony State. We have to identify who did it. We're going to be very tough in the weeks ahead. Our lands have been devastated. There is nothing we can take back the land that has been destroyed. And yet, what's supposed to come to the people does not come to the people. That's man in humanity to man. You destroy the land, you destroy the people, and you destroy their future. And our collaborators, Ebonians that collaborate with these enemies of the state to do this, they will hear from us. And up next is an update on BB Niger. Welcome to our entertainment segment. We bring you more updates on the popular reality TV show, BB Niger. Big Brother called Maria into the diary room and told her that there will be no nominations by the housemates, no public vote this week, no evictions on Sunday too. He told her that she can disclose every other thing but not the eviction. He told Maria to convince the housemate that he, Big Brother, has given her the absolute power to nominate two housemates that will be evicted on Sunday. So the housemate who least impressed her will be evicted. To help sell the lie, he gave her a pen and paper as a scoring sheet, which she would serve as a system of scoring them based on their performance. 
Ha. There was a fight in the house. So Pere met White Money who was lying on the couch. He bent over him, looking directly at his face and asked him what he asked. The confused White Money said he didn't ask anything. Hmm. To the amazement of housemate, Pere unstrapped his belt as he kept asking White Money the same question. That action led White Money into an outburst as he said that Pere disrespected him with that act, trying to make him feel like a child, adding that if they were outside the house, he wouldn't dare it. He went further to say that he has no hard feelings for Pere because while he knew that Pere and Maria were the white cards, he didn't expose them. In his words, he said, I know you don't like me. I know you don't love me, but no problem. Let's have a healthy competition. Regardless, I will still kill you with kindness because I like you. Anyways, other housemates try their best in calming white money and condemn Pere's attitude as an act of intimidation. Pere, however, insists he won't apologize to White and don't care if all the housemates are angry with his action. One of the Big Brother Niger housemates who was evicted a few days ago, Beatrice, has finally spoken after her eviction. Beatrice said that she does not have any regrets or bear any grudge against anyone in the house for leaving the show early. Beatrice talked about her joining in Bibi Niger house and her plans for the future, describing how she saw the other housemates Beatrice said Saga talks too much, Nini a child and Maria a pretender. She also added that Perry has the same quality as Maria and as such they fit each other. Beatrice said Perry has the quality of her kind of man but not exactly. But Emmanuel fits the category of her type of man. She also said that Perry and Maria don't deserve each other because they don't fit together although they have some ugly qualities. Maria is a manipulator and talks too much. She is also a pretender. Perry has the same quality as Maria. They are alike. Aaron does too much and argues a lot. Maybe she feels intimidated. Angel is a very sweet person who is misunderstood. While Saga talks too much for a fine man. And as for Luku Rose, she is very pretty but not smart enough. Anini is a child but white money is the best. Ha! Beatrice is you. Stay with us as we bring you more updates. I am Florence Joshua. Remember to like us on Facebook, Clearview Television. Follow us on Twitter at Clearview Online. Follow us on Instagram at Clearview TV underscore Angie. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Clearview TV. Thanks for watching. I am Nkiru Obuli.